Like, I went to a lot of schools basically. I suppose all the moving didn't really help, do you know what I mean? By that point, I really just had enough of school, do you know what I mean? I was like, that's like, that was like about the seventh one, so when I got to that, my last prime secondary school, I didn't really enjoy it, I didn't really um, take it on board, you know what I mean? I spent a lot of time not at school, um, but I suppose um, you know, if I had any regrets out of that whole period, I suppose I'm not getting to do my GCSEs. Well, for me, what 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 I went to prison for was drugs. I went to prison for I was I was charged with um, possession of intent to supply. Um, that, that's what I received my sentence for. Um, but like for me, I've always been I've always smoked cannabis. Um, you know, so I suppose like when they say um, the, the, the word drugs, like you know, you can say it's been a, you can say it's been a part of my life from since I've been young. Do you know what I mean? But um, I suppose you know, things were. Uh, when things got a bit rough or well, things got hard to the point where I felt like, you know, um, I wasn't making, I didn't have any money, I wasn't, you know what I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to go and do other things. I thought the easiest route at that time was, you know, to try and make a bit of quick money was, you know, to sell a bit of stuff, do you know what I mean? So that's what i done for a little while until um, I got caught. And it was hard because he usually gets his hair done all the time and have seen him like with his hair just in plaits, like little loose plaits and really messy, it was hard. So obviously he's used to ch like looking after himself and keeping himself fresh. Yeah, it really affected me because obviously we'd spent so long together, like so many years together and we'd literally were inseparable. We spent every single day together, apart from like when he went and met his friends and stuff like that. And it was hard like getting to sleep and like going to sleep and him not being there and the company having someone to talk to. It's like having a piece of me missing. So it's like, yeah, just walking around with my heart as my heart was missing. Could you, is there any prison that stands out to you that you've been to? Oh, well, I've been to most, not quite all, but most. I began in 1977 when we had a, I, I'd come back from Thailand and I was staying at, uh, at Hampstead, at Hampstead Police Vihara and uh, I, uh, we received a letter from Parkhurst and we received another letter from Pentonville and a phone call from Holloway, all asking for someone to visit the Buddhist prisoners. So it was more or less done to me, so I, uh, I decided to do that and I've been doing it ever since. It's always been a problem, you know, society has always had this, this, this problem about what to do with people who offend against society. And, uh, and all sorts of uh, solutions have been tried, like uh, sending people to Australia. I mean, that was one of the better ones, to, in a way, because at least once they got there, they had a chance to develop their lives, and some of them did very well indeed. But it was a very long way away, and it was a very hazardous journey that was the trouble. So, um, why do you think so many prisoners reoffend? Well, precisely because they're warehoused, you know, and, uh, and nothing very much is done while they're in prison uh, to help them. I think, you know, if people are going to be in prison, then that time shouldn't be wasted. And somehow we should encourage people to use the time um, in, in a good way, so that they learn something, learn skills, trades, whatever, to, to, to help them when they come out. Do, what would you like to see for the future of prisons? Well, I, I'd like to see them all closed, to be perfectly honest. Okay. May um, I ask you, um, yeah, could you elaborate why? Well, I think I, I think certainly we ought to be uh, discovering better ways of, of, of dealing with uh, people who, who um, are found. Yes. I mean, no one knows why people commit crime. Do you know that? No. Because, uh, because you know, you'll, you'll get two, two brothers brought up in exactly the same circumstances, um, uh, maybe quite wealthy, one will commit crime and the other won't. You can, you can get, uh, again, two brothers or sisters brought up in poverty and one will commit crime because they're hungry and the other one won't. It's just, it's very difficult to work out why, but to, you know, you have to somehow find ways 
of, of making people understand that when they commit crime they hurt someone um, and uh, it's not very nice. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Long Paul. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>